Today, we're gonna be replacing this right here with this. It's an under-counter soap dispenser. The only part of the spo this soap dispenser that you're gonna see is this right here on top. A lot of people like this, but as soon as they find out, they have to make a hole the size of this, which is about an inch, inch and an eighth, inside a stone that costs about a thousand to three thousand dollars that's when they check out and you know what i don't blame them this is one of the scariest things i i have to do while while at work and you know even here at, at home but it changes your apartment it makes it looks modern it cleans everything up and it looks beautiful one thing I want to tell you if you're planning on attacking this project is make sure you buy good bits. You do not want to buy a cheap set of bits from Amazon, for example. Start making this hole with that bit and then the bit just crap out and you can't finish the project and you have to order more. Or the bit is doing its job and it wobbles and it breaks and now you scratch your stone in a certain way that you can't go back. This is an expensive part of your kitchen. You want to make sure you buy a good bit. They're not a sponsor, but I recommend the Milwaukee ones because these, although majority of the people that are watching this video, you're only going to be doing this in one stone. I still recommend spending the 15. Sometimes it could go up to 30 bucks, depending the size. I recommend buying it because it's going to make everything simpler. It eliminates that fear that you have of you know, damaging a $4,000 stone, more or less. <laughs> and I'm gonna be making a inch and a quarter hole in this stone. Uh, it calls for an inch, but I think uh, uh, giving it a quarter of an inch plane is best. I don't wanna make the hole perfect and then it doesn't go straight down. If you give it a little bit of plane so it could go left and right, up and down, I think it's better. So that's why I'm using the inch and a quarter, so. Let's start it now. When you get to this point of the project, you want to make sure that you put this in a spot where you feel comfortable. So for example, I'm putting it right here, which is two and a half inches in halfway between these two points. And from what I'm looking at, it looks fine, but I rather have it it more forward just so when you press it, whatever the residual there is, it goes straight into the sink. And if you guys look, I think I prefer that better. Let me move this forward. Doesn't make a difference. <laughs> so I might just put it there instead of in line. As you can see, an inch and a quarter is just enough. So you could have that play of moving left, right, up, down, wherever you want it. One inch is perfect. I don't really want perfection, to be honest. I want the wiggle room. So that's why I'm going with an inch and a quarter.
So as you can see, I got that play I wanted. I can move it around, see where I want it. I'd rather have this play than not have it. So if I want to get close, I could get closer. If I want to get further, I could get further. Not too much, just a quarter of an inch, but just enough for me to feel happy and have a good night's sleep. So tell me, what do you prefer, this or that? This is nice, it's pretty, but this is better. The only thing is that to go from this to this, you're gonna have to go through this and the games that you play inside your head. It's not very difficult as you saw, you just have to be confident with where you start the hole. But as soon as that groove starts, just keep the drill vertical and it'll go straight through. Remember, get yourself the Milwaukee bit. You want to make sure that you're using quality stuff when it comes to something like this stone. You don't want to make this hole in the wrong spot or have it walk and you scratch the stone and now you have a problem that you have to look at for the rest of your life or change this stone. That's the video for today. Hope you guys learned a thing or two from this project and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you're interested in anything else that I'm doing, consider subscribing. I have a couple of projects coming up. And I want to take this moment and thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it and can't wait to see you on the next one. Thanks.